Halloween's going to be full of mostly treats, not any tricks in this forecast with the milder but breezy weather conditions. You'll see that west northwest wind. I'm sure you felt it today. 10 to 20 miles an hour, a sign that a front is passing on through. Temperatures still a bit milder early with low 50s on deck, dropping down to the 40s with some of those clouds starting to clear out in time to see the crescent moon this evening. No full moon on Halloween, but it'll still be a nice sight to see. You can also grab our first alert weather app before heading out for those trick or treat plans. Cloudy early with some of those clouds starting to clear out, turning mostly clear. And you'll also see our wind forecast here west northwest gusting up to 20 miles an hour early in the evening. Here's a look at your current winds as that front passes on through. It's breezy in the Toledo Metro up through Monroe down towards Finley. Winds gusting 10 to 20 miles an hour all coming out of the west northwest. Still pretty calm in Erie and Huron counties down through Crawford County and the winds kicking up in southern Michigan as well. Temperatures cooling off in southern Michigan. We've got 53 in Lenawee County, 51 in Hillsdale, 52 degrees in far northwest Ohio in the Bryan area and temperatures to the east a little bit milder 57 from Port Clinton down through Fremont and Tiffin, 56 degrees there in Wyandotte County. Zooming in on the Toledo Metro for those Sunday evening trick or treat plans. Our warm spot this evening is Ottawa Hills, 60 degrees. 50s in Swanton up through Sylvania. Temperatures on the other side of the river, a milder one with 57 in Oregon, 56 degrees out in Point Place. Cloud cover, well, it's been awfully overcast today. There have been a few peaks of sunshine, but that gray color shows you pretty gloomy conditions, at least early in the evening. And there is the chance for a few brief sprinkles to the south of Hillsdale. Just a very light rain shower appearing there on First Alert Doppler. Those of you in Northwest Ohio should stay high and dry for those trick or treat plans. Winds going to be a big story this evening. Gusty weather with those gusts possibly exceeding 20 to even 30 miles an hour at times. Heading towards your Monday morning, by the way, don't forget to flip over those calendars. Starting off November a bit calmer and by the afternoon we'll be down to about 10 to 12 miles an hour as far as those winds go for your November 1st. Here's a look at your forecast for tomorrow. A bit of a chill in the air. We go down to the upper 40s for temperatures. That's really the effects of that cold front that's sweeping through as we speak. West winds down to about 10 to 15 miles an hour for tomorrow. If you want to see a lot of sunshine, your best bet tomorrow is going to be in the morning. By the afternoon, a few more clouds roll on through and we have until about 630 to enjoy that daylight and also enjoy the fall foliage. That's Wildwood Metro Park there. If you do plan on leaf peeping at any one of our metro parks this week could bring us the peak of fall colors. By the way, this is arguably the latest peak of fall foliage we have ever seen on record in Toledo, largely due to the very warm autumn we started off with. We are nearing the peak right now and over the next seven to 10 days, you are really going to see those fall colors start to pop. There's still a fair amount of green on the trees right now, but within the next couple days, especially with those cooler temperatures, it's really going to turn colorful and vibrant. So what is the first week of November has been stored? Well, quite a bit of sunshine, a bit cooler, but a nice dry spell after this wet weather pattern, starting things off with partly sunny skies and temperatures in the 40s. I do want to alert you about the freeze potential as our temps drop down into the low 30s below freezing, especially Wednesday morning. We do warm up a bit towards next weekend, which could bring some rain showers Sunday, but all things considered a pretty nice looking week for early November.